the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Well, the action keeps on, keep it on here at Money in the Bank as Monday Night Raw's Intercontinental Championship set to be defended. And here comes the number one contender, the Defiant, L.A. Knight, who set the groundwork for this matchup, set a target on the back of Ilya Dragunov about a month ago on Monday Night Raw when he ambushed the champion after a successful title defense against the Bruiserweight Butch. Unfortunately for L.A. Knight, that wasn't enough to earn himself a way to tonight. He had to outlast seven other superstars in Independence Day Battle Royal, eliminating Butch as well as Cedric Alexander in the final moments. And evidently, L.A. Knight was able to punch his ticket to Money in the Bank. And even though he's a loudmouth, even though he's an egotistical son of a bitch, LA Knight at the end of the day earned his way to be here and could very well be Ilya Dragunov's toughest challenge yet for the Intercontinental Championship. But take nothing away from the champion. The invincible Ilya Dragunov about to make his way down the aisle. A man who has held the gold since Saturday night, February the 26th at WrestleMania. He has retained and defeated Butch, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods, Tyler Bate, Shinsuke Nakamura. Dragunov has turned away some of the very best that Monday Night Raw has to offer. And the Invincible One always looking for the next challenge. And the defiant LA Knight could very well just end up as a statistic in the championship reign of one of Monday Night Raw's hottest superstars. I'll tell you what, this is a matchup that I have very much been looking forward to in the lead up to Money in the Bank tonight. LA Knight, as we mentioned, like him or love him, or certainly hate him, a deserving challenger for Ilya Dragunov. And Dragunov, if one thing's for sure, every time he steps foot inside the square circle, you're gonna get two things. You're gonna get a banger of a matchup you're gonna get Dragunov giving it his all. And if you wanna add something else on that list, as of the past couple of months, you can almost guarantee a Dragunov victory. But at the end of the day, a worthy challenger is a worthy challenger. Ilya Dragunov has turned away some of the best, has bounced back even when his back was against the wall in championship defenses. And will time write the same story? That is what we are about to find out live from the Nationwide Arena here in Columbus, Ohio. From Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line here at Money in the Bank. Let's send things down to the ring yet again for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Well, here we go. Ilya Dragunov set to defend the Intercontinental Championship against LA Knight. This should be an incredible matchup. Your first matchup representing Monday Night Raw, your second championship contest of the evening. Already tonight, Rhea Ripley taking down the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Gunther retaining his United States Championship. And another hard-hitting contest on deck. The bell has sounded. We are underway with another Ilya Dragunov championship defense and immediately taking the fight to LA Knight. As we mentioned, Knight ambushing Dragunov several weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, and you know the Invincible One has not forgotten. I'm sure Ilya Dragunov was almost smiling ear to ear when LA Knight did overcome seven other men in that battle royal. Because not only did he guarantee himself a challenge, which Ilya Dragunov always loves, but he guaranteed himself a shot to get some payback on LA Knight for that attack. <laughs> LA Knight. A nice shot to Ilya Dragunov there. It's one thing to take Dragunov down. It's another thing to keep him there, however. That is something we have seen firsthand over the last several months. 
As we mentioned, Dragunov has turned away some of the best. Butch on now one but two occasions. Tyler Bate, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods in an awesome matchup a few months ago on Raw. Shinsuke Nakamura back at Backlash. Remember, Dragunov even defeated the New Day's Big E to originally qualify to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship back at WrestleMania. Dragunov has beaten the best. He has fought the best in LA Knight. Looking to overcome a man who is quite possibly invincible in every sense of the word. LA Knight, no slatching, slatch inside the ring either. Remember, not only has he won that battle royal a week prior to that, picked up the victory against Rob Van Dam on Monday Night Raw. Now LA Knight finds himself in a championship opportunity tonight. Pinfall by Dragunov. I think Dragunov knew he wasn't going to defeat LA Knight there. I'm just trying to get into the psyche of the challenger. Dragunov not afraid to play a couple of mind games when he deems necessary. They had turned his back on the wrong superstar, though. And speaking of superstar, the megastar cradles up Dragunov, and he almost had him. Two count. One second away from a new Intercontinental Champion and a takedown by LA Knight. You know, whether you like LA Knight, you hate LA Knight, you love LA Knight, you certainly can't deny the popularity of the Defiant Knight. And I'm sure a lot of fans here in Columbus, Ohio, and watching around the world would love to see this loudmouth wrap a championship around his waist. He might not care what the people think, but the people got something to say about LA Knight. You gotta watch your showboat, and it gets a lariat that he can hurt around the world. One that Stan Hansen would be proud of. Not enough to keep LA Knight down and out for the three count, but my goodness, what a shot. Shout out to Stan Hansen, shout out to Bradshaw on that one. Ilya Dragunov sending LA Knight's head off his shoulders into the fifth row of Nationwide Arena. Knight, well, however, lucky to be counting his stars right now. Sending Dragunov out of the ring. Thought he might have been going for the breather in there and said, take him the outside. He was trying to play some mind games of his own on Ilya Dragunov. Which may not be the worst strategy against a man who has turned away such incredible challenges. LA Knight, I'm sure, he knows what Ilya Dragunov is capable of. He knows what it's going to take to defeat the champion here tonight. He knows he's going to have to bring a different game than everybody else has. And whose game is it? It's LA Knight's game as he's showing right now. Down and out on the outside. Well, tried to follow it up, but Ilya Dragunov now. Oh my goodness, power bomb! Oh man! Took out the barricade! LA Knight, you want an emphatic force off that power bomb! Taking out the barricade off the crash landing! We got a Pier 6 brawl in Nationwide Arena between Dragunov and Knight! Things are personal here tonight. It ain't just about the Intercontinental Champion trip. Dragunov does not take well to disrespect, and that is how he feels about LA Knight. He feels he disrespected him on that attack a few weeks ago. Dragunov's out for retribution tonight. Chaotic matchup right now on hand for the Intercontinental Championship as LA Knight trying to fight his way out between a rock and a hard place. Dragunov back inside the squared circle. LA Knight on his tail, however. Back at a stalemate inside the ring. LA Knight throwing a couple live rounds against one of the hardest hitters in World Wrestling Entertainment, but take nothing away. Could have been a knockout blow by Knight. Not just yet. LA Knight, I don't know how he's still moving right now. That power bomb sent LA Knight right through. You see the barricade imploding at ringside. A clear cut view into the WWE Universe here at Columbus. And LA Knight still fighting. Take nothing away from LA Knight, an incredible talent who has worked long and hard to get to this opportunity tonight. We're looking to make the most of it. Wow, what an elbow drop off the top. Right to the heart of the champion, but the champion still fighting. Defiant Knight got some height right there. Quite possibly could have grabbed the money in the bank briefcase hanging above the ring with that kind of height. Dragunov getting to his feet and LA Knight allowing it, picking his spot. And you see LA Knight almost slowing down the pace after a little bit of a faster, hard-hitting opening few moments in this matchup. LA Knight wants to wrestle his style of matches, not want to meet Dragunov 
in a matchup that fits the Invincible style. Does not want to be playing the defense game against the champion. LA Knight needs to be on offense. He's able to avoid the kick there, but a simple yet effective takedown by Ilya Dragunov. Oh, wait a minute. Nice counter by Knight trying to steal the victory, but Dragunov saved by the ropes. LA Knight not watching his ring awareness there. A rookie mistake by a veteran of the ring. Dragunov is hurt. And LA Knight is looking to inflict some more punishment. To the cover again and only a one count. That is the thing about Ilya Dragunov throughout his Intercontinental Championship reign. When you think he's down and out, when you think he's moments away from losing his Intercontinental gold, a certain fire gets lit in the heart of Dragunov and he comes back almost in a blades of glory to retain the championship. LA Knight's got to realize that he's in there with somebody who's got a second and third gear and at any moment can flip that switch. Oh, and a discus chop takes LA Knight off his feet. Goes for the senton and nobody home. Dragunov trying to build some momentum, but LA Knight not going to allow it, and down he goes again. LA Knight changing the tides of momentum in this match and not allowing Ilya Dragunov to change him back. And to the top buckle we go. LA Knight's wheels are spinning. And I think he's looking to bring Ilya Dragunov for a little bit of a ride. Superplex! A crash landing dead center of the ring. Columbus, Ohio, loving what they see, but will they love a new champion? But Dragunov not going to give it to him just yet. Only a count of two. Ilya Dragunov still fighting. This is a man who took down Guther's 870 day reign for the Intercon or excuse me, for the. NXT United Kingdom Championship several years ago. Ilya Dragunov coming up to the main roster last fall and has made an impact ever since. There's a reason he is going on several months as the Intercontinental Champion. One of the best Monday Night Raw has to offer is the man in the black and the red. With the man in the green looking to spell money tonight. Another cover by Knight. Almost had him again. How many close calls are we going to see out of LA Knight tonight? I think LA Knight realizes that he cannot allow Dragunov to find any glimmer of hope in this matchup. No window for opportunity to change momentum. Can LA Knight allow? And down goes Dragunov off the burning hammer. And that may do it. I think we got a new Intercontinental Champion. Not just yet again. Ilya Dragunov kicks out and LA Knight's starting to come unglued. In disbelief at the man that he is in the ring with. It's been well documented. Even here tonight, LA Knight, no ordinary competitor. No mortal man. Invincible in every sense of the word. LA Knight is still trying to throw any shot he can. Any left, any right. Open hand, close fist, whatever works. But Dragunov doing the same. Off the reversal and a bare knee. Right to the solar plexus of LA Knight. This is what we are talking about. The second or third gear that Ilya Dragunov has got in that tank. That LA Knight cannot allow the invincible one to kick into. Dragunov starting to go to that place. Where he picks apart his opponent. With every live round he can imagine. Open shots and falls over the forearm. In the corner and a corkscrew. Manhandling LA Knight down to the canvas. Dragging off, dictating the pace at this very moment. And into the cover to retain the title. And LA Knight kicks out with a close call. Early a Dragging off. LA Knight's down. Dragging off out of nowhere. Torpedo. And I think you can count to 20 on that one, not just yet, as LA Knight gets the shoulder up and how close was that? Ilya Dragunov, not participating in the build-up tonight, went right for the kill. Hit the torpedo headbutt, and somehow LA Knight still has got life left in him. Able to shake the cobwebs loose, and is back inside of this matchup. We said this one was gonna get personal for the Intercontinental Championship. And we are witnessing a fight of all fights right now. Dragunov went for the kill to no avail. Now LA Knight 
back in control of this matchup, at least for a moment. He could be going for a second burning hammer if he hits this. Oh, wait a minute. Instead, goes for the swinging neck breaker. Oh, smart by Dragunov. Smart by Dragunov. Rolling underneath the ropes to try to at least change the momentum. But LA Knight, down goes Dragunov. Down he goes. BFT. And we almost had a new champion. What a kick out by the Invincible One. The blunt force trauma by LA Knight. Not enough to win the Intercontinental title. Could we go for it again, but Dragon off, off the reversal. And now Ilya Dragon off. Coming unglued with the power bomb. Man, here we freaking go for the Intercontinental title. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings as LA Knight with Dragon off on his shoulders again, going for another neck breaker. At some point, it becomes a test of endurance. Who's got enough intestinal fortitude to outlast the other and survive and become the Intercontinental Champion? Will it be the Megastar? Or will the championship remain with the Invincible One who sends LA Knight for a ride? To the outside, the Defiant Knight goes. And Ilya Dragunov is heading somewhere where we don't see him too often. Understands he's got to think outside the box tonight. A crossbody from the heavens by the champion. You know, Dragunov realizes that he is in the ring with a true challenge when he heads to the top rope. Not something we see in a Dragunov's arsenal too often. And LA Knight trying to flip the switch on Dragunov, sending him into the steel steps. Right by that shattered barricade. These two men busted wide open earlier on in this matchup. LA Knight, of course, cannot win the title via countout, but he can certainly do some damage on the outskirts of the ring. Back inside the ring goes Knight. Is he going to follow Dragunov out there? No, I think he sees Dragunov is on his feet. Going to take a couple extra moments of rest. You got to like that strategy by Knight. He can drag it off down, and Ilya Dragunov is in trouble right now. Oh, wait a minute. On the shoulders again, and another burning hammer! The Invincible One may have met his kryptonite. Dragunov is down with only a pulse, but Ilya Dragunov could be meeting his doomsday as LA Knight with a second BFT into the cover! We have a new Intercontinental Champion! And his name is L.A. Knight! What an incredible Intercontinental Championship reign of Ilya Dragunov from WrestleMania to Money in the Bank comes to an end on July the 16th as L.A. Knight was the Kryptonite to the Invincible One. Here's your winner. LA Knight set his target a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. He called his shot and he made the most of it. And tonight, here at the Nationwide Arena, we are leaving Columbus, Ohio with a brand new Intercontinental Champion. And his name is LA Knight. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.